Hi, this is Cynthia Horner from Right On Digital, and I am here with Paris Morgan Brown, who portrays Yasmin St. Patrick on our favorite series, which is Power Book Two Gross. So, Paris, why don't you get started telling us about how you first landed the role as Yaz? Okay. Um, so, um, I don't remember the exact date, but I do remember that day when I had to go to audition. I was quite sick and my voice wasn't like how it's how it usually is. So when I went to audition, I was like really nervous, but I did my lines. I don't think I recorded that many times in the audition. And then then I don't think I it was either one day after or two, and I found out that I got the role, which was really cool. And it was so fast. Wow, that's ex that's so amazing. And what is it like being the youngest person in the cast? Because that's who you are until somebody has a baby. <laughs> I think it's really cool. It's like new for me because any like background work I've done before, there's always been like kids. And so it's like to be the only one there, it's really different. And have you um, been able to really bond with any of the the actors or actresses on there. I know that some of the other characters have told me that they hang out together, like I guess Latoya and a few of the others. But what about you? Is there anybody from the cast that you have a special connection with? Um, I would say uh, either like Michael or Miss Debbie. Oh, okay. Grandma and big brother, okay? Yeah. Now, um, I interviewed Method Man the other day and he was joking around. He calls uh, Michael, well, Tariq, cash cow Tariq because of the <laughs> fact that um, Tariq has to keep paying him for different things. Do you have a nickname for Tariq? Well, for my character, it's just Reek. It's nothing too fancy. Okay. Now on the series, usually we see you with your hair pulled back kind of like in a bun. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me about the different ways that you wear your hair and which is your favorite hairstyle. Um, so like in the show, my like usual hairstyle that I have, that's my favorite. Um, or then I have like two buns. And sometimes I like braid my hair back and right now I have it straight but my go-to is usually the one bun. Oh okay and you have to balance school work in with um, the, the TV series so tell me how that works for you. What is your schedule like when you're um, so, so like usually on the set it's I have like I forgot the exact time but it's a like a time when I have to do my schoolwork. So I'll like have a set teacher with me so I can like do all the work that's due for that day. Oh, okay. And what are some of your favorite subjects at the moment? Um, I'd say science and English, yeah. Oh, okay. And I understand you're from Jersey City. I used to live in New Jersey myself. What is it like um, being on a show that's that popular? And I'm sure that a lot of people recognize you when they see you places. Yeah, um, I think it's definitely like different for me, really new. And like sometimes I'm like, oh, that's like really crazy how they recognize me. And um, yeah. <laughs> And how does your family feel about the fact that you're on such a powerful series that is so popular? They're really proud of me on it, like especially my mom and my dad, because it just happened so fast. And I just went from like being, I wouldn't say like normal, but I just went from like not doing anything that big to just like, wow, this is really big. And they're just really proud. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about some of the other things that you did before getting on Power Book 2 Ghost. Um, I've done background work in Orange is the New Black. That was my first one. And I've also done Law and Order, uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Smith. And 
those are the main ones I remember. Uh, I've also done commercials and there were like different types of commercials, but yeah. Okay. And what do you like to do in your spare time? I know you probably don't have too much spare time at the moment, but what do you do? I like to do musical theater a lot and sing. And we've done a lot of plays in musical theater because I believe I joined in 2018. And with singing, I get to sing with like my friends or like new people and like try out different songs. So that's really entertaining for me with my free time. Oh, okay. Now on the series, you play, of course, Yaz, who is someone who's in a lot of trouble because of the fact that there's some domestic problems with your family. Um, what do you do to get in the character? Because right now, the way the series is going, your character isn't having a really great time because of the different issues that popped up with your grandmother and then her fight with Tariq over custody. So is there a particular person that you have in mind when you have to go in the character or how do you how do you handle that? Well, like when there's scenes that are like more sad and like I should really just like be not as happy. I just think more about how Yaz made me feel and how like the scene is. So I just really like block out anything that's like way too happy or anything. And I really focus on like getting down that emotion that is needed. Okay. Now, when you get older, do you think that you plan to continue pursuing a career in acting or do you have some other career goals in mind? I don't really have any other career goals in mind because I really want to continue acting because this is something I really enjoy doing. Oh, okay. Who are some of your favorite actors and actresses? I really like um, Emma Watson because I watch Harry Potter a lot and I'm like really inspired by her. And I also like Bonnie Wright. She's also in Harry Potter and mm -hmm. who they play. They're both my favorite characters. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, you said that you like singing. Would you ever like to make an album or do you just like to sing as a, for a hobby? I prefer singing just for like a hobby. Um, if like how I said, I do singing in my free time and for like work, I'd like to focus on acting more for that. Oh, okay. Now, today you have your hair straight down. Do you get a silk press or do you get um, blow dry or a, a, a blow roller dry. set? A, oh, blow dry? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And how old are you at this point? I'm 11, but I'm turning 12 in three days. Oh, wow. Happy birthday in advance. Thank do you, you have any do you have any special plans? Yeah, I'm going to be with like a bunch of my friends at a hotel for a sleepover. Oh, great. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank I'll you. make sure that this interview posts in time for your birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Now, is there anything that you would like to say about Power Book 2 Ghosts, about why you think the series is so popular with everybody? I think it's so popular because like people are invested in what's going on and like every episode it leaves off like someone wondering maybe like what's going to happen next with this character or like why did this happen or yeah that those type of questions and they're curious so like that's why people continue watching it and stuff and it's not like it's more of an like an interesting show. Mm -hmm. Now we always ask everybody about the wardrobe. Michael Rainey has said that at the end of the season, he wanted to be able to make some arrangements to take all his clothes with him because he loved them. <laughs> and um, when I interviewed Latoya Tonadero the other day, she was talking about the fact that um, she had her eye 
on a sweatsuit that another character <laughs> was wearing. So everybody likes to talk about the wardrobe. And then Method Man told me that when they dress him for the series, he takes notes because he's learning a lot about wardrobe just by being on the series. So what is your comment about the wardrobe that they have for you? I think it's like, really nice clothing because it's like designer clothing and that's not something I wear every day and even my mom's like wow like I need to look into that and um it's just like really nice and like all like the dresses or like the shoes the, like the pants they like try me like make me try on I'm like I need this yeah that's how everybody feels and um so they told me to make sure I give shout outs to the wardrobe stylist. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have one fun fact you'd like to tell our readers about yourself that they wouldn't um, already know? I don't know. Um, it's not anything too exciting. Um, well, I think I know. life is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I don't, there's nothing too big. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay, now let's talk about how they can follow you on social media. Oh, okay. Um, so I have an, in my Instagram account, I remember my mom and um, I don't, yeah. I forgot the username, but I'm pretty sure if you search up my name, you'll be able to find that. Okay. All right. We'll do that. So Instagram is the one that we should have people follow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will definitely make sure that happens. And I want to thank you for doing this interview with Right On Digital. And we will certainly make sure that we continue um, posting things about you on our site whenever you have some more news to tell us. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again. And you have a great birthday. Happy thank birthday. You. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.